welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to see how to make a mini Tesla coil. This is an awesome project, so let's get started. In order to make it, you need few supplies. Heart of Tesla coil is a secondary coil. So for that, you need 28 AWG copper wire. For the power source, you need 9 volt battery. One number of BJT. Typically, it should be 2N2222A transistor or a similar transistor. Then you need a resistor, which is typically from 20 kilo ohms to 30 kilo ohms. I have 22 kilo ohms resistor with me. You need one and quarter inch PVC pipe. The length of PVC pipe will be around 4.5 inches. You need one toggle switch. You need four number of M4 bolts and nuts. Few metal washers. And finally, you need a eight by six inches plexiglass. Before starting the project, we will look into the circuit diagram first. Primary coil can vary from two to five turns and secondary coil will have a roughly 200 number of turns. Now let's get started. Take the PVC pipe and drill two holes on the each side of the pipe as indicated. Pass the insulated copper wire from one of the holes and pull it out from the other side to a length of roughly six inches. Leave it that way and glue it down. Now it's the time to wind it. Do not kink or break the wire while winding. This is the most time consuming process of the entire project. It will take roughly 40 to 60 minutes to complete the winding. All right, once your winding is complete, pass the other end through the hole and glue it down. Go ahead and put 10 turns of electrical tape on the base and 10 turn on the top. Now you have your iconic Tesla secondary. Now our next step is to prepare the base. So we have eight by six inches plexiglass. We will cut this in half of six by four, six by four inches, two plates. After cutting the plexiglass, it will look something like this. Now you need to drill four number of holes on the four corners of the, both the plates. This one will be the base and this one will be the top cover. Pass all the four bolts through the washer to the drilled holes and screw it down with the help of nuts as shown. Now our base is ready. So in order to mark the components, we'll put battery, transistor and resistor and we'll mark the location and drill two holes of one mm each so that we can pass transistor through one hole and resistor through the another one. Now take the transistor and fold emitter and collector Pass the base through drill hole and fold it up. In the similar way, pass the resistor through the drill hole and align the one end to the base of transistor as shown. With help of soldering rod, join base to the resistor. Solder one wire to the collector. Solder another wire to the emitter, which will be further connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Drill one hole on the top cover to pass the toggle switch. 
and two consecutive holes as shown for the connectors. Roughly fix the top cover to see the alignment. Connect one wire to the end of the resistor with the help of a soldering rod and another end of the same wire should be connected to the one terminal of toggle switch. Now another terminal of the toggle switch will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Take one end of secondary coil and remove its winding with the help of a sandpaper. Now pass this wire through the drilled hole in the mid of the top cover. And connect this wire as indicated in the circuit diagram. Now fix the toggle switch by passing it through the drilled hole and screwing it down with the help of a nut. Now take the secondary coil and fix it on the center of the top plate with the help of a glue gun. Fix the battery on the base plate with the help of a glue gun. Connect a yellow wire from the end of the register which will be further connected to the one terminal of primary coil. Fix one end of the primary coil to the top cover with the help of a connector. Fix the top cover to the base by screwing down four number of nuts. Now it's time to wind up our primary coil. My primary coil will have two number of turns. Fix end of primary coil on the top cover via help of connectors. Please refer to the circuit diagram if you have any confusion while making connections. Now the last step in this project is to build the top load. Visit any nearby hardware store and purchase a door knob and one inch washer. Bolt the washer on the base. Wrap the wire around the bolt which is sticking out because we are gonna end up gluing it on the top. That is our last step. Now if you have been following along, now our mini Tesla coil build is ready. Now let's conduct few experiments to see how the wireless energy works. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.